I like the sound. Still another pair. Pretty hot. No viewers, I've been learning a lot of electrical stuff lately because I got sidetracked with monarch butterflies and wasps, but we haven't got any flaming wasps, it pisses me off. Um, this motor came out of a dryer which had burnt out. One of the windings here has burnt out, so um, I'm gonna make this one of these roller bearing uh, driven motors. I've done once before but this is nice size uh, armature so I'm uh, gonna strip this thing and uh, we'll see how we uh, can make that work. Manufacturers are actually a pain in the fucking butt, they make these screws with little hex things on them. Um, they'll just make it harder to pe for people to take things apart so the master key will do this. Oh, I'll cut these bolts, oh, I missed that one, oh, at the right angle. Motor is an AOL anyway. Got these, hopefully, it's enough. I'll get this bloody thing in pieces. Ah, oh, come on, you bitch. There we go. Master key usually works. Get these motor end shells apart. There we go. And that's a rubber collar on here. Let's see if we get that off. Hopefully, this thing comes into pieces, not too bad. There's a end thing there. Check the other half. Even have to cut these end shells, aluminium things. That's oh, just easier to get in there. Don't cruise aluminium, oh, that bags already. Oh, you bitch, get in there. Well, I got the device apart, so I got the rotor here and uh, two roller bearings on the side. And supposedly, if you pa pass a current AC or DC on one of these and one of this side, you should be able to make that armature spin. Very inefficient, but it relies on the expansion of the uh, balls in the roller bearing. Okay, now Hocus Pocus. Just uh, the armature here, a couple of blocks of wood. Try to balance it out a little bit and then uh, put some leads on it and see if it's going to turn yay or nay. Probably needs a little push to get started, but we'll see how it goes. Well, I've got it set up, it's actually dead short at the moment, so uh, let's do a little push and see what happens. I'll show first what happens now. Shice, that's hot. 
check that transformator. That is a, a 12 volt transformator. I'll just give a quick shot. I'll just put the camera on proper position. The transformator is pretty hot. Um, it's a 12 volt winding, but I got 240 volts on one leg to keep the meter spinning. So I'll get you a quick shot of this. And uh, yeah, just get my gloves. Stand by. Okay, energized device. Roller bearing motor, high current. Um, I'll show you the meter. Uh, yeah, camera is on, that's good. I'll show you how the meter is pegging itself. Uh, the meter is going very fast. That transformator is very hot. I'll give the wheel a little push start. I'll get a better angle for the camera. Stand by. It's going to be a short duration one, but uh, the transformator I don't want to burn out yet. Let's uh, give it a push. Shit, it takes off a lot. Brilliant. Brilliant. One more acceleration point. I'm bearing some crisis. The energized device. Isolate and plug first. Listen. You can hear the transformator popple, puffle away. Ah, the transformator is not happy. Oh, that's hot. Hear the crackle. Let it relax, I don't want to burn that one out yet. And it's not a microwave oven transformator, it's X inverter 12 volt to 240 volt device.